There she is. Is it a girl? The warhog. <laughs> it's the warthog. The one and only warhog. <laughs> Nobody goes through war like us. You got so much speckles on your, your lens. I know. What's up guys, Lord Beardo coming back at you with a brand new Clash of Clans video and we're jumping back on the Town Hall 9 account, or I guess really the 8.5. Let's be honest with ourselves, we are not moving up to 9 fully. We want the offensive troops, but we are not going to do any of the defenses. And again, I, I talked about this the last video when moving into 9. I absolutely love the fact that this is a reality, the 8.5. I think it just... It just makes the game more understandable to people. I feel like a lot of people got right from 8 and went into 9, do all their defenses, don't pay attention to their offenses, rush their bases in what people might not think is a rushed base because they're not getting their offensive troops, but they believe that their base is progressing well, and then they can't fight in war, and they can't make any loot, and they can't join any good clans because they are rushed. And that is going to be what we tackle today, the rushed base concept. How do you stop your base from being rushed? And I think this works out really well for the base that I'd set up. Originally, I had put all wooden walls up. I never messed around with anything. And we're just going through my attacks here. And what I want to do is break down how to beat being rushed. What do you do? What does it take to make up for rushing your town hall? Now, I'm not that rushed. I don't have the walls, but I do have all the troops for the most part. I'm missing some dark spells, but I basically want to show you what it takes to get the loot quickly because that is what's going to stop you from being rushed moving forward. You have to be able to stack up, <clears throat> excuse me, as much loot as possible and you do that by using a couple troops here and there. If you use two or three goblins on each collector and then use one or two giants, you will most definitely snatch up as much of the collector raid loots as possible and then you can just go ahead and quit the raid. Now, it doesn't matter if you're losing trophies right now at this point in the game. Trust me, if you are rushed, the last thing you need to worry about is trophies. You have got to figure out how to get your defense up to the standard of what they are in their town hall. Now, in a town hall 8, you can get your archer towers up to level 10. You can get your cannons up to level 10. Your air defenses up to level 6. Our, uh, wizard towers to level 6. There are different things. Tesla to level 6, more the specialized defenses go up to level 6 and then the common defenses go to level 10. And you want to get your base at least to a fully maxed out Town Hall 8. Some people, they don't go ahead and fully pink out their wizard towers and what they'll do is they will just leave them so they're ha half pink and then they will progress their base from there and do a lot of walls. That's all preference based. I do think that you should be putting all of your defenses at least to the Town Hall 8 mark and then moving forward to the Town Hall 9 but not actually putting up your expos. Just getting your collectors up and make sure you get your troops up because if people come to your base and snatch up your loot and you say to yourself, man, if only I had my expos to stop that guy, that is never going to be the case. There will always be somebody who's sitting above you that can come into your base and take all of your loot. So this video is tailored for those people who feel like they have rushed bases or don't understand <clears throat> why people say they're rushed even though they have top defenses. You are not doing your offensive troops and that is what's stopping you. And the common troops like the archers, the barbarians, the giants, those are the easy ones. I'm talking about the dark troops, the ones that nobody actually wants to spend their time grinding to get those higher Valkyries or higher minions or their higher golems. Now, as a Town Hall 8, you can get your Dark Troops level 4 for the Hog and the Minion. 
and your Dark Troop, Valkyrie, and Golem to level 2. So go ahead, check out your account if you're playing the game and watching this at the same time. See where you rank. And we are going to use the same exact strategy on the last video that I just showed, or the last clip that I actually just showed, of using a couple giants and some support troops to go in there and snatch up as much of the elixir and the gold as possible. I wanted to get my giants in the laboratory, and in order to do that, I mainly just needed to go out and farm some elixir not care about my trophies and not focus too much on the dark I pretty much have always fought in this game for elixir and dark elixir I've never once cared about gold very few times do I go out like I need to get some gold right now for an upgrade that was a long 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 time ago that I was thinking that way so don't focus too much on the gold don't ever go into a raid thinking I need to get that gold and not get the elixir and not get the dark elixir because the elixir is what pays for your army and the dark elixir is what pays for your troops and your heroes and that is the most important part of this game is the heroes and the dark elixir troops they figured out of making you go and getting that dark and that's going to separate the men from the women the boys from the girls the good players from the bad players so if you have friends who are rushed and they don't know what to do shoot this over to them let them know about this video share it like it comment make sure that i know that you enjoyed it and we are going to use this standard army composition that i showed in my last town hall 9 beginning town hall 9 video and that is going to be 10 giants 30 goblins 25 to 30 archers 15 to 20 barbarians and i give the 15 to 20 because some people like extra barbs some people like extra archers but the girth the main portion of this army breaks down with 10 giants 30 goblins 8 wizards at least and then use six wall breakers with the four earthquake spells and i always use these hogs now I have a raid where I use the hogs very, very strategically. Once your whole army is basically inside engaging all of the defenses, then you flank the hogs from the left side or the right side. And depending on how much dark elixir you're trying to save or more or less how high up in a base you're trying to attack, you can use more or less hogs. Now, sometimes I fill my own clan castle. I have that luxury because I have, you know, the max or the full, the very high up Town Hall 11 account. So I can use as many giants and as many hogs as I want to, and I can determine if I want to use more of a flank army or not. Sometimes I'll just use a, a full clan castle full of hogs, and that'll give me five hogs. That's eight hogs. Eight hogs with a heal spell? Forget about it, man. Now, I threw my heal spell in immediately when I got to Town Hall 9, and I always recommend doing the spells first, and then go ahead and do your tanking troop. Like I, like I said, I'm trying to get the giants so that I can fight all Town Hall 9s with no worries at all. These wizards are fine. My archers are fine. I'm going to get my archer queen up to a level 5 so she has her ability in immediately. And with those giants being at the level 6, they will just be so dominant for loot raids. And that's what we're really focusing on when you first get into a new Town Hall is the big loot raids. Now, you can take a little break out of war when your heroes are down, but I'm going to probably go ahead and war as much as possible. I'm not doing my defenses like I keep saying. That way it keeps me fresh. It keeps me going, man. It keeps me a younger looking town hall. My matchups will be way easier, and that is how you beat a rushed base. You have got to focus on your troops, your troops, your troops, and then you can do your heroes as well and your walls, and you want to be able to really dig yourself out of a hole with a rushed base. Now, if you have a rushed base and you're not fully understanding this concept, go ahead, throw your player tag in the bottom and I'll write you a little, uh, a little comment back about what you need to focus on first in order to get out of being rushed. Now, one thing I would say if you are rushed is don't try to push up in your league let yourself fall down into mid gold and go ahead and crush these bases you'll see that i'm absolutely destroying these bases now these are all going to be like 8.5 style bases or low town hall nines and i can go in and fight higher town hall nines but i just don't really want to spend the time searching and searching and searching for a town hall nine with a base design that allows me to go in and fight so just keep hitting that next button waiting for these monster bases that are so rushed 
and so early and be the dominator guys you have the ability to make up for that rush you know i actually rushed myself into town hall 7 my very first ta like play into this game because i wanted that king and you got him at le you got him in town hall 7 and i wanted him so bad so i rushed to town hall 7 and it took me a little bit of time to get back from being rushed and then i moved into 8 properly and I fully maxed out my 8 and this is all on video you can go back to my first videos and watch the way that we moved into Town Hall 9 and all of our progression through the game you can go and check those out all those raid styles and compositions they are so effective even if the gameplay has changed slightly and you're seeing right here the way I I flank with my hogs now the base is already kind of well we're well into it we're in the middle we're crushing and I always try and heal my hogs and my big army mass at the same exact time that's always my biggest goal is to meet the two armies together and heal everybody up giving full strength to the army that you're using and we're just gonna face roll this base and that is the goal we want to go in and find these million dollar raids 800,000 loot raids big 2k 2.5k plus raids and get ourselves away from being rushed. That is the goal. When you show up in a clan or when you're trolling around and somebody sees that your base is rushed, you just don't get the respect in Clash of Clans that you might feel like you deserve. Even if you're a good attacker, you're just not going to be able to fight top people who know what they're doing, who set their bases up properly. So avoid being rushed by simply having patience. Now I find that younger Clash of Clans players that come into our clan tend to struggle with this most. Uh, not all the time because I have a bunch of buddies who are crazy rushed and they are not kids and they're not teenagers and they are well into their 20s, 30s and sometimes up in their 40s and they're rushing because they believe that their troops will be better, that the defenses that they get from new town halls, their infernos they can throw up with a you know, an 8.5 that goes to a Town Hall 10, thinking the Infernos are going to change something. They don't. You will be crushed by people who are above you. If you can't even defend against Town Hall 9s, how on earth will you think that you can move up to fight against Town Hall 10s? And even more importantly, the Town Hall 11s that are waiting for rushed bases to become 10s. That's my favorite people to hit. I'll go down into Top Masters, or champion bottom champions and I will crush the rushed bases do not be a rushed base in this game it is not worth it for you to play the game that way just simply have patience and remember there are two types of rushed people there are offensively rushed people and there are defensively rushed people now this isn't geared towards engineered players people who are going to just spend a bunch of gems and buy their offensive troops and then just have a town hall 10 base with no defenses but they know that they're going to be fighting against other Town Hall 10s because they've already played the game. Now that happens a lot, in my opinion, from people who have second and third accounts or they get sponsored and then they have these engineered bases. I am talking to the first time clashers, the people who are downloading this game and moving from Town Hall 8 into Town Hall 9 for the first time and they want to be good, viable war members and co-leaders and start their own clan, set a presidents for yourself be a maxed out town hall 8 be a maxed out town hall 9 and you will have so much more fun at this game than if you rush if you rush you will feel like you are playing catch up non-stop this game will be horrible do not fall symptom to that the the town hall 9 spot in this game is so much fun you get the queen and you can get your heroes all the way up to level 30 let that sink in level 30 if they're giving you the ability to get your heroes to level 30 as a town hall 9 trust me you need to have your level your heroes to 30 a lot of people the moment they get them right at close to 20 boom they're town hall 10s because there's not that much defense to do and it's not that expensive in Town Hall 9 if you think about it only in terms of defenses. But usually what happens is those Town Hall 9s will have very bad walls and they'll go into Town Hall 10 with bad walls, bad heroes, bad troops. That is the definition of a rushed base not having the offensive troops to hit your mirror in war. Your defenses are way too high. 
So slow down. Understand that it will take you eight months to a year to play this game and to have a properly put together Town Hall 9. I am three years into this game and I am a high level Town Hall 11. Now two years into it, I was a maxed out Town Hall 10. At least I thought I was. And then my heroes were really low. So when I actually went to 11, I rushed myself to 11. And if it wasn't for the luxury of being able to play as often as I do, I would have been so upset with the game. Now, I knew that going in, and I wanted to jump the gun with the Warden before everybody kind of figured out all the ins and outs with him. But that, I guess, is a, is a topic for another time. That is a conversation you could have with people when you're in the position I was in where you had fully maxed out Town Hall 10 base uh, with all the, the walls that were going up to strobe. They weren't orange. I'm just getting them to orange now. But I am speaking from experience. I had a rushed, a couple rushed stages in my Clash life, and then we rushed this nine a little bit. I wouldn't say we rushed it because we did get the offensive troops and the walls were terrible, but now we're starting to work on the walls. And that's really this main point that I'm trying to get to in a long winded sentence. But you can dump all of your gold into your walls. The, the most baller looking base will be the one where the walls are fully maxed out for their town hall you roll up against a town hall nine with pink and purple walls it's a joke you roll up against a town hall eight that has all those skull black walls and you're like wow that dude put time in well think about that for nine you can go up to a strobe wall strobe walls are you kidding me do you know how many millions it costs to upgrade all of your walls to strobe? Like, it is crazy. It's like two million a wall. I think it's one million for the Legos, two million for the strobe, three million for the orange. It gets silly. It gets absolutely silly. And that's where you can dump a lot of your time, effort, and energy into your walls, your heroes, and your troops and salvage yourself from being a rushed base you won't regret it and definitely throw some hogs in your loot raids they will help out so much and also if you're here till the end throw that like share this piece out to some of your friends who are struggling and definitely download the plex chat the codes off to the side lord beardo out